Well, I have been waiting since last July of iCast of 2020 to bring you this video, and today we're going to do it. Before we get too far into this video, I want to let you know that on our website, thebassfishinglife.com, I have all the specs for all the rods and all the reels so you can go there and check them out. Just go ahead and type into your search engine thebassfishinglife.com backslash kvd and you will find a page there where I have all the breakdowns and all the different rod models which I think that you'll find interesting. So that's thebassfishinglife.com backslash kvd. And for those of you that watch the channel all the time you know that I fish lose products so that is why I wanted to go ahead and show you these today. I'm going to be as objective as I can possibly can here and mainly just go through the features and what I feel the benefits of these particular rods and reels are going going to be. Well, this is it right here, the new KVD reel. And one of the things that Kevin wanted to do that I should probably mention is he wanted to make top quality gear at a more affordable price point for a wider range of anglers. And so a lot of the features that he wanted to put into this uh, were some features that you may find on more expensive reels. And that, that was the goal. So that's why we're talking about these today because there's been a lot of buzz out there about them. So this baitcast reel comes in at $139.99. And probably the first thing that you're going to notice when you look at it right out of the package is the fact that it is all aluminum. That is definitely a feature that is oftentimes saved for higher end reels. So this one is all aluminum. This is a 10 bearing system, a 9 plus 1. One of the first things I want to mention is that the gears in here are solid brass. They are not some pot metal or some cheap alloy. They are all brass gears, which will definitely help with the durability as you're out there on the water using and abusing this reel throughout the season. Another thing that I want to talk about is the pinion, okay, the pinion gear here. When you, when you move this reel, it's very, very smooth, and that is because there is a bearing supporting that pinion gear in there. So as it moves, there's not any slop or any grinding that you might hear in a lower price point of a reel. So that's definitely something I wanted to uh, make note of as well. Now let's talk about the braking system here. So uh, Luz calls this a multi-braking system. Basically, it's a dual brake, okay? It has a centrifugal brake and a magnetic brake. Here is the magnetic brake. Very nice with the clickable minimum up here. Has the maximum all the way down. But to take this side plate off, a lot of times reels will have like a little switch down here. This one is over here on the side. It has this pin that you just go ahead and you pull out. So that's a nice feature. You can put your fingernail right there, pull that pin, and then you take this plate and pull it towards you or the back of the reel, and then it will go ahead and come off. Here you can see the magnetic braking system, and then here is the centrifugal brake. And one thing that's really nice about this it has a label on it, on off. So you know when you have these pins all the way up that the centrifugal brake is on or if you push them in it is off so that's kind of a nice feature uh, this centrifugal brake right out of the box had two of them on so which is actually a very nice starting point so that is how you go ahead and take this side plate off and then how you adjust your centrifugal braking system uh, the drag on this reel is carbon fiber. It is a 20 pound drag system. And as you turn the star drag here, you notice it's, it also has a click, very audible. And then the same with the spool tension knob. You can hear it. It's got an audible click as well that I find very handy. Could be out there fishing, coming around a point, the wind picks up, adjust my brake, maybe I click up the spool tension just a couple, and then when I'm uh, back in a place where it's not as windy, I know I made two clicks. So that's something that I personally have um, always enjoyed when there is a spool tension and a drag system that does have an audible click to it. Down here on the bottom, you're going to see a lube port. Here's the lube port right here. There is a screw here that you can go ahead and remove and then have access 
to uh, the gears and stuff on the inside so you can go ahead and lubricate them and then put that screw back in so that is definitely easy to access as well. Uh, one thing that a lot of the loose reels are coming with are the speed keeper right here. Not every rod that you may own may have a hook keeper on it. Well, you don't have to worry about it here. You can go ahead and pull out this uh, speed keeper if you do not have a rod that has a hook keeper on it and then you have a place to go ahead and fasten that hook right there on the side. As a matter of fact, when I was working some events for Lou's this last spring, this was one of the most asked questions that I got. Well, what is this? Where is it at? Where can it be found? It's kind of hidden unless you know where it is, but it's on the underside of the reel. It comes in 6, 2, 7, 5, and 8, 3. The line pickup, we have 25 inches of line recovery per turn on the 6, 2, 31 for the 7, 5, and then the 8.3 has 35 inches of line recovery per turn. And it's also uh, noted on here, it's rated for 120 yards of 12 pound monofilament or 120 yards of 50 pound braid. And you'll find that's, that's pretty standard across many reels um, Baycast reels across many different manufacturers, so no big surprise there. Also, if you like to use left-hand models, Kevin made sure that each one of these reels for all the gear ratios, all three gear ratios, come in a right and a left-hand model. So if you're an angler that prefers to use a left-handed model, those are definitely available. All right, let's talk about the rods. Now, be honest, this is what I was most excited about uh, when these were announced uh, earlier in the year was this particular line of rods. These are the casting rods. I've got a spinning rod back here, but the features are pretty similar on both of those. These retail, all the rods retail at $99. And for $100, I think you're going to be surprised at some of the features that you're going to find on here. First of all, they're all IM8 graphite as far as for uh, the casting and the spinning graphite models. There are composite models uh, for cranking, but we'll get into those in just a second. When you take a quick look down here, once again, just like with the reel, uh, this deep red finish is very striking. One of the first things that obviously stands out. Uh, here's a hook keeper down here on the bottom that we were talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, the, the handles down here are all EVA and we have a split grip right here. I've been a huge fan of the wind grip handles on my other loose rods that I have. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I look forward to really putting this through the rigors and see how it holds up over the course of a season. Now this is not your traditional like lightweight foam okay we've probably all seen those rods in the past where it's got that lightweight foam that's easy to rip and tear that's not the case here this is very very firm okay this isn't just going to snag and rip very easily moving on up we see this here this is something that is important to note is you have full contact on the reel seat a lot of times and i know some of the rods that i have as well as probably you uh the contact down here is maybe for one finger Okay, it's just a small little opening that gets you to the graphite blank, but this is a full contact reel seat, so you can get a couple fingers on there, which definitely will improve with the sensitivity, so I look forward uh, to putting that one through all the rigors over the course of the season. Moving on up the rod, we'll see that these guides are stainless steel with aluminum oxide inserts, and one of the things that Kevin really wanted to address with this line of rods and that is the tip it has a zirconian insert tip to try to give some more strength up there at the most fragile point of anybody's uh, rod we know as anglers we abuse them okay they might get stepped on we just kind of shove them into rod tubes or we reel down when we have a lure snagged in the water and that tip can take a beating. So it has that zirconian insert on the tip to help add with strength and durability. And here's the part that I was most excited about. I love technique specific rods. Maybe that's because I grew up in the trades and every single job or task had its own tool. Well, I approach my bass fishing the same way. There are a total of 23 different models. There are 10 graphite casting models. There are seven graphite spinning models. And then there are six composite 
cranking rods. They're a graphite and a glass composite that are just designed specifically for your crankbaits all the way from a small crankbait to your deep divers like the smaller crankbaits would be 6 8 uh, the rod for those deep divers would be 7 foot 10 so six different models in the lineup there and Kevin has designed these to be very very application specific okay whether uh, this particular rod here is a jerkbait rod I wanted to buy a new jerkbait rod or get a new jerkbait rod. So this one is six foot eight. I look forward to using it. So that rod tip is not as long. And as I'm twitching that jerkbait through the water, my rod tip for my height at about five foot 11 is going to be much better than what I have been using in the past. So the fact that there's 23 different models, you can get very specific on both power ratings and actions and lengths for the type of technique that you're trying to do. And like I said, uh, go to the bassfishinglife.com backslash KVD and I have all these different rod models listed out there for you. So you can see what they are and which applications or which techniques Kevin designed these for. I hope that you found this interesting. Uh, shoot me any questions if you have them, both e either in the comments down below or you can email me, Steve, at the bassfishinglife.com and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And I really look forward to putting these through the paces this next upcoming season and see how these particular rods and reels hold up. Hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.